Welcome back. Plenty of extroverts and extravagance here at the Sydney Football Stadium in the Coca-Cola Rugby League World Sevens. Most of that unabashed flair has come from the visiting nations. Papua New Guinea is certainly not shy when it comes to enjoying tries. Let's see how they go against Western Suburbs. Our callers, Darrell Eastlake and Paul Borton. And the side from PNG, Papua New Guinea. They make their entrance now to the Sydney Football Stadium with a huge round of applause from this big, big crowd here watching the Coca-Cola Sevens. Certainly had a big rise. And of course, out come the Western Suburbs Magpies. Terry Hill leading them out. Here's the West lineup. Carney, Misha, Lidden, Simons, Hill, Willis, Bell, Georgialis, Vicnerus and Langmark. And for Port Mosby, PNG, Ben Moidi, Bogey, Emil, Haru, Giffen, Karu, Maviri, Toivita, Uradok and Mugambi. Referee for this match is Eddie Ward. Expect some fireworks from PNG, Paul Borton. They'll, uh, they'll throw it around, I think. They've uh, really grown in stature in the nationally in rugby league. Of course, playing a test series here in Australia with uh, a lot of success and won a lot of hearts with that. Yeah, they love their footy and uh, this will be a very exciting game, actually, West and the Papua New Guinea side. We're going to see some fine football play. The West have the uh, first touch of the ball. There's a fumbly start there, too. As Georgialis, former Eastern Suburbs player, takes it up for Western Suburbs. Brought down around about 28 metres out from uh, his line. Langmack brings it up now. Some heavy defence in from the PNG side. Driving him back, but he hasn't got the ball at this stage. It's Mark Bell now for West. Magpies. Throwing it around. Terry Hill. Got some pace, Terry Hill. Too fast for PNG at this stage. Look at this. The eyes tell the story. The determination is there, and the Magpies score first points here through Terry Hill. Puts it down and West with a cracker start. Yeah, great try to Terry. Exceptional play, Terry. I think he'll go and represent this year, no doubt about that. And it's a beautiful delayed pass there by Langmack. Drew his man and put Hill into the gap. And Hill just had to run from there. He did that very well. Plenty of speed. Well, he certainly got some pace because uh, Papua New Guinea, they can run. Let me tell you, <laughs> plenty of pace out wide and Terry Hill just left them. So 4-0 from uh, Papua New Guinea. That uh, kick unsuccessful. So now they come back, the PNG team. They have got so much exuberance. They want so desperately to do well here. And they'll use the ball too. There's no doubt about that. They'll throw it around like a hot potato. You are Doc, we'll get up to play it. Back along the line. Long looping pass out wide. You are Doc, take him down. I'm sure he's running for them. Let's see if we can pick that up for you. Oh, he wants to find it here. In there as he passes it out now we've got another strange jumper on here on number 19 as well that's Niffin in 19 the Gumby is very important the they want again they attack now and try time two for PNG aha under the post PNG improves improves the position too that's a meal well, it's struck back pretty quickly. Nice sevens football. They tossed it out one side of the ruck and uh, really spread West out in defence. And when you've got the ball in your hands, the attacking side calls the plays. They spread it back out. They always had the numbers. With this uh, quick hands, a nice cheeky little dummy here from Emil. And that's a good try to the uh, PNG side and a simple kick from right in front. Good pass from Carew too. And there's the kick. They raise the flag, so they lead now. Pat Guinea leading Western Suburbs 6 4 with 4.08 on the clock. Well, that'll fire them up. It'll fire West up too. West prepared to start around too. Trying to set the play up, but can't do so. Well, that's great defence, isn't it? They didn't get over the halfway line, the Western Suburbs players. Wayne Simons. Straightens up, Simons almost gaps him too. 
Defence comes in and flows in quickly though. West on a roll now. Langman. Boots are out through Jerry Hill again. Already scored one. Comes on to Mark Bell. Well taken though down in the corner, but inside the 20 of Western Suburbs. Nice and deep, they run from dummy half though. Terry Hill once again, very involved in this match. Already scored a try and every time he touches looks dangerous. Comes out through Misha. On the Langback. Turns it back inside to Bell. And Bell gets it down too. Ring-a-ding-ding -ding time for Western Suburbs. Yes, Bell, uh, good switch of play there by Paul Langback. They had numbers to the left, but he decided to go on his own back to the other side where the New Guinea defence hadn't really come up. Didn't come up both sides of the ruck. And Bell, that's a nice in and away there. And uh, Sybil Case of just getting through to the fence, and that was too easy. Two players looking good at the moment. Paul Langmack, also Terry Hill, getting very involved for Western Suburbs. Kick unsuccessful. 8-6, the Maggies over PNG. Big, big crowd here in attendance at the Sydney Football Stadium. Marking every second of the international stars that have been out. They've shown plenty of flair, plenty of dash playing with a lot of courage too. It'll be very difficult for them in front of a big crowd here in strange surroundings. Not so much the boys from PNG, they've played test football. But there's been some uh, wonderful matches here today. And more to come, of course, tomorrow. And you're watching it here exclusively on Nines Wide World of Sports. So Simons gets it away to uh, Darren Willis. Too much defence that time, though. Misha calling for the ball. Sets it out wide. Oh, another, look at this. Western Suburbs just opening them up now. Again, they'll go and it's try time for the Magpies. No, it's been, been called back, Darrell, as, as a penalty. A West player held a New Guinea defender out of the uh, out of the line. And so Eddie Ward's called that one back. What's there? It's number three holding uh, Toyvetta out of the play. Lidden held Toyvetta and this is a penalty. Could have been a try. But this ball hasn't found touch. Well, Vic Neris wouldn't be too happy about that. He's going to come back for another go. Oh, West now trying to set up and get nice and deep. Now they come across through Simons again. Back inside again, Simons starts to uh, get plenty of momentum going on. But the cover defence comes over through Naviri. This time it's Willis. Jarlis is there. Well, Jarlis is taken down just about uh, probably 10 metres out. The West on the attack again. With Jason Lydon. Out through Terry Hill. Hill now tries to go around the outside and does it again, Terry Hill. Oh, he's pretty stiff on this match, Terry Hill. Every time he's touched the ball, he's looked dangerous. Yeah, he looks, looks fit, he looks quick. He's heading for a big year, is uh, Tezza. And that's the side of the field he likes to run on. He's a specialist down the right-hand side of the field. He likes to drift out that way. Just he's got those little bikes sized up and just straight around them. And that's the long way round too, and he did it with a lot of flair. Terry Hill having a, a big game. Shows Paul Langmack. He's involved in everything at the moment for West. Horror kick, kick again. A 12-6 West over PNG, and that uh, concludes the first half. That'll be how well go to Lemons as 12-6 West leading Papua New Guinea. The Magpies recommence the second half, leading 12-6. And I must say, enormous crowd here, 22,172. And Paul Vaughan, when you add up the 8,500 here last night, that's uh, been a tremendous turnout by Sydney for the Coca-Cola 7s. There's the crowd attendance, 22,000. 172. Yeah, it's a, it's exciting football, and I think international flavour probably brings in quite a few more thousand people. People like to see the, the sides from Russia and the US and South Africa go around. It, it's been a good carnival. Yes, it has. And of course, the big day tomorrow when the finals and divisions are played, a long floating pass out wide. PNG know that they've got to get up on the board pretty quickly here. Loose pass, though. That'll do them no good as for better. Goes back, picks it up, cleans it up, puts his head down. Too much defence from Western Suburbs in the black and white. George Alice in there as the marker now. This is a meal. A 
PNG now straight down the centre. And he's got them too. Oh, just loses his footing. Bad luck there from Emil. He's got plenty of pace. Almost got through. Got up and had another go. Now he looks for support. Through it comes. In the shape of Carew. And away they go, Carew. He's doubling. He'll go all the way. Look at the head goes back. Down he goes. And does the belly roll. Oh, don't you let from when they score. Oh, yes, sir. That's the way to do it. Under the post. And there's life in the game yet. Oh, what about his hands? Genius hands. Look at this. He comes on the inside, fumble, fumble, grumble, and gets it, and away he goes. Give him a 9.5 for the dive and the roll. Sensational. Doesn't mind the score. The vipers, they sting him. Doesn't mind the score. What's this? This is the juggle. What did you say? A juggle bungle? What? One of those ones. Yes. Look at the look on the face. He said, I'm here. The arms are pumping, the legs are going, and there it is, the final roll. And that's exactly why the crowd have turned out in numbers. Oh, hits the crossbar and comes back. It'll be filthy on that. Go so back live now, 12-10. Life back in this game now. No doubt about that. There's a little goose step from Maviri. Struggling to play the ball. Now he pushes and shoves and says, well, I'll take the penalty. And they'll take the yardage too. That start. PNG just trailing by two. Then Moidy, he's been quiet in this match so far. Comes out to Haru. Haru dancing around, looking for support. Comes through now, and this is Wagambi. They play it forward, looking for some yardage. Haru gets it out to Yarendok. Up up by McNeeris. On a bit of a roll now, but they're at the wrong end of the field, but they're nice and deep. If they can pass quickly, they've got some numbers here. Out they come, they turn it back inside, keeping it alive. Loose pass, scooped up nicely, though, by Bogey. Now it goes on to Wagambi. Oh, well, Wagambi's Wagamb head down. He had the numbers outside, Wagambi. Didn't even have a butcher's hook at all. And that was a play that uh, could have resulted in a try. Bit of an experience there from PNG. Nice piece of footwork there from uh, Bogey. Oh, and the roll. Give him a 10 for the roll. That's a better one. Oh. <laughs> That's a, a huge roll. And he's still up. Terry Hill. <laughs> oh, don't you just love it when they score? Boy, oh boy. Sensational stuff here from b and G. There's the kick. It's over, the white dot. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. How can you get these 16 Western suburbs well? Well, a boil over. Okay. Misha starts for West. Watch him come back to Maggie. So I don't like this. Langmac turns it back inside. Gets it on to uh, Misha. Comes back to Langmac. He's been involved in everything. He's looking for Hill, but Hill was too close to him that time round. Lidden. Happen goes again. They've made a lot of ground. They're inside the 10. Inside the 20 now. 10 out. Spinning around, looking for some gaps. In comes the defence, slams them down. That's Bisha. He's copped a bit in that. Again, they go away. We're so close. Is he there? We're waiting for the referee. Yes, he is. Well, Terry Hill. In for his uh, third try. He's had a big game. We're so lucky he's playing for them. He's barged over. Too strong for the defence. Puts it down cleanly, Terry Hill. Three tries in the match. Fantastic performance from him. Oh, got plenty going over the line, too. So, 16 apiece, the kick to come. Will it just get there? Yes, sir, what a beauty. What a beauty. So, they lead by two. West 18, Papua New Guinea 16. That was a ripper. 18 to 16, 1.30 on the clock, and PNG fight back. Come back to Yarendok. Now West must win by more than eight points to win their pool. If PNG win or lose by less than eight, they uh, they win their pool. Pool six. So plenty riding on this, the last minute and a half of this game. Out it comes to Wagambi. Wagambi stepping, showing it. 
Up comes Niffin. Final minute of play. PNG trying to win their pool. Western Suburbs need to win by more than eight. I don't know, I don't know if that's possible. The Gamble puts the boat through. The chase is on. The Maggies come up with it. Yeah, but they've given away possession now. West have got the last 30 seconds to try and put on a try and get that eight-point lead. And they know about it too. Don't worry about that. Misha goes down in the tackle. Terry Hill goes from dummy half. He's been the danger man. Three tries. Have a look at the pace of him. Tries to stand him up. Oh, comes in from behind and slams him up. Hill gets up and goes again. Not too happy about that. The big fella says, come on, turn it up. Give me a fair go. Away they go again. He's got the ball again. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Well, he pulled him up for uh, getting up off the mark and running. He thought he was held. And then he wore, they've got six and a half seconds now to try and do something in the pup to the side. Well, there's only a second left. This will be the final fling of it. Can they score off this? Up it goes. It's probably too deep. The chases are going to be the bound to the ball. The Maggie's need to get it. Oh! the corner post the flags are flying they've gone man he gave a 30 meter start and got a <laughs> sensational stuff what's he doing at that post oh, never mind what he's doing with the post what about the start what been look at the, the, the gap there he's given a plenty oh the bounce of the football Wayne yeah, Simon's had a chance eight. had a chance to wrap Boy, it up there better. they all missed it and then came and down with Ben Moiti <laughs> <laughs> the, the boys are happy Congratulations Talk to about them. Sevens football. Look at this. And they've won their pool. Wayne Simons thought he had it covered. Ben Moiti came in from nowhere and just a big dive. And then the place went berserk. <laughs> They're on a victory lap. They don't leave. They're going to stay here all night. They're waving to the crowd. 18 22. PNG over West. Well, that's what the Sevens are about. I said to Peter Sterling at the top of yesterday's show, it's the unexpected that you uh, you find here in sevens that makes it such a sensational tournament. The stars of the day, no doubt about that. PNG all getting together with a big team huddle now. What the emotion going on? Well, there we go with their version of just plenty of bullet the war dance, the hunter, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Gee, listen to the crowd. They don't want to go home. They're going to stay the night. 22 18 over. West right on the death. The victory lap continues. The celebration goes on. Uh, it's good stuff when uh, a side like New Guinea can come here and win their pool. They'll go through to the quarterfinals now. The crowd loving every second of it. Well, imagine the memories they'll take back to Papua New Guinea if they even go no further in this competition. They're shaking hands, the supporters are here. And this is what sport's all about. There's plenty of highs and plenty of lows. Tonight they're on the biggest high they can be on at the moment. They're having a great time here at the Sydney Football Stadium. The Coca-Cola 7s, you're watching it exclusively on Nine Wide World of Sports. <laughs>